I don't know if you've heard of the law of attraction, uh, but it states that uh, positive thoughts attract positive outcomes. Negative thoughts attract negative outcomes. And I've always wondered if there would be a way to test the validity of that law uh, using cards, using a, a packet of cards. And so after a number of years of development, uh, I've come up with a way to test the law of attraction. And so what I have here, just so you know, I have 12 cards in front of us. And I've chosen uh, two aces, two twos, two threes, up through two sixes. And uh, each card of the same value, I've also chosen them to be the same color. And this will make it easier to know whether we have successfully matched up cards or not later when we perform the actual tests. Now, uh, let, me, let me show you the mechanics of the tests that we're going to run. And they're quite simple. They may be familiar to some of the readers. Um, so th these are just some mechanical or uh, procedural steps that we'll perform um, as we actually carry out the, the real uh, tests themselves. So the first one is called a Klondike Shuffle. And so what that does is it takes the bottom and the top card and puts them together. So you, you kind of have to be careful that the cards uh, don't stick together, especially if you have an older deck. And so I, I think I, I did that without any uh, mistake. So that is the first action that we will need uh, moving forward. That's called the Klondike Shuffle. Uh, the second action is just called a, an alternate alternate dealing. It goes by a number of names. Um, so here you're just alternately dealing the cards into a, a left pile and then a right pile until all of the cards are, have been dealt out. And, and then we're going to be stacking um, piles. And so I thought to make it scientific, uh, we should let chance uh, decide um, how we should stack these. Should we stack the left pile on top of the right or the right pile on top of the left? So uh, why don't we agree to the following convention? Um, if we get heads, as I have here, uh, let's say we stack the left pile on top of the right. Uh, if we get tails, on the other hand, well, why don't we go ahead and stack uh, the right pile on top of the left, okay? So let I'm going to toss the coin and uh, whatever this comes up as, we will follow that uh, procedure, that, that decision throughout the entire test today. So I'll remind you of that later. So let's go ahead and toss this. Okay, so it came up to be heads. So under our convention, uh, heads would mean that we will always um, stack the left pile on top of the right. Okay, very good. Okay. So uh, th those are those are the mechanics. Okay, so we will perform a, a Klondike shuffle. Um, if you want to look up the um, kind of etymology of that word, it's quite interesting as to how well uh, how they believe it came about as the name of that shuffle. And then we're going to perform um, a, an LR left right shuffle or left right deal, I should say. And, and th this is more familiar to um, more of you, I imagine. And then, uh, see, what was our convention? We were always going to stack, yeah, that's right, uh, the left pile on top of the right, okay? So those are the two actions. So we, we've seen the actions shown twice now. So I, I think you'll feel comfortable with them later when we go to use them. Um, so what I need you to do at this moment is um, join me um, now, I realize, of course, that you're not here, um, but if you don't mind, if you can help me across time and space, um, I, I would like to have us uh, focus on uh, some negative. Why don't we get the negative behind us first? <laughs> uh, focus on uh, some negative uh, outcomes or situations, uh, things that maybe didn't turn out the way that you wanted uh, or things that we're quite disappointing. And uh, after we do that for just a moment, we're going to conduct our test to see if perhaps 
our um, you know, negative thoughts affect our chances of matching up cards successfully. So uh, focus on that unfortunate or negative outcome for just a moment. And I'll do the same. Okay, so I, I think, I believe we're ready to start the test. So I will go ahead and perform. Did I do that right? Yep, I did. <laughs> perform the Klondike Shuffle. I've been using these cards so much that they're unfortunately starting to get kind of warm. And when cards get warm, they stick together. Uh, that's the Klondike Shuffle. And then the second action, if you remember for this test, is to do an alternate dealing of the cards into a left pile and then a right pile. Very good. So now we have uh, two piles um, that have been dealt and they have been dealt with a negative emotion around them, negative thoughts kind of um, uh, coming down upon them. So let, let's see if, if our thoughts have in any way influence our chance for success. Okay. Okay. So that, so that actually is not good. That, so that's a fail. We're trying to match them in uh, value and color. So right off, you can see the colors don't match. So uh, we got the same color. That's good, but uh, different values. So that's a no match. Same color again. Very, very good, but uh, no match still. Uh, same color again, no match. Uh, boy, a lot of the same colors. Oh, different colors. So bad. Uh, also, of course, different values. Uh, so we were uh, unsuccessful. We, we found zero matching pairs. Now, of course, that could have been chance alone. I mean, think about it. How, how likely is it that cards would come up matching? It's, it's not very likely. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, for our negative thinking tests, it, it, it showed uh, no success in matching up the cards. So let's go to the positive thinking test, uh, the second test, and, and see if we fare any better. Now, if you recall, we decided that we would always stack uh, left on right. I believe that's the case. And, and so we're going to now <clears throat> uh, combine our thoughts uh, you know, imagine your mother-in-law calling and canceling her weekend trip. Uh, so think of something that makes you smile, some, some happy outcome. And, and I'll do the same. So think of something positive. Okay, okay. I'm feeling, feeling like we've done a good job. Uh, together, we've we've combined our positive thoughts. I think as much as we reasonably can. So as before, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to perform our actions. Uh, at the Klondike Shuffle, uh, being sure that we don't have cards sticking here looks pretty good. Uh, followed by uh, a left right uh, dealing of the cards. Left right. So just carefully go left right. I, I don't need to be in a big hurry, or maybe some viewers think I need to speed up. Uh, I understand. Um, so here we are. We're, we're in the midst of the positive thinking test. And we're really at the same situation that we were before, uh, but we're hoping for a different outcome. So let's see how we did. So the hope is that we can match color and value. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, well, we got, we got at least one. Now, I don't know if that's enough evidence that the uh, law of attraction is a thing, but, uh, but let's, we'll continue. So we got an ace. Oh boy. Uh, we got two black aces. So we're two for two right now. Uh, why don't we just reveal these? Oh boy. Oh boy. Sorry. I, I, I was looking up to heaven for a moment. Um, so sorry about that. Uh, that is fantastic. We got, okay. Um, Yes. Now, now the dogs are upside down relative to each other, but that, that's not a problem. We're just trying to match the color and the, uh, the co color and the value. Very good. Very good. Now, I would think by elimination, the, these would 
have to match. Yes. Okay. We we went from a zero percent matching to a hundred percent matching. 